Are you still creating singletons the old repetitive way or are unsure about what a singleton is? Let me introduce you to the generic singleton. Singleton is a class of which you have only one instance and is easily accessible everywhere. In game dev, this can be especially useful for game manager, sound manager and all kinds of managers. I am in an empty scene in Unity and I have created a new script, which is some kind of manager, it is just a classic mono behavior script. The way that we would make this script a singleton is that first we need to store a public static reference to the class itself, which then makes it accessible everywhere without having a direct reference to the variable. So we have a static reference to the class itself so that everywhere we can access it easily. A good practice when having the reference to the instance is also to say that it should be public get, so all of these scripts can get it, but it should be private set, meaning that we can set the instance only in this script, because we don't want other scripts to modify the instance. So this is one part of the singletons, let's try storing some public variable, and now if you go into any other script, we can just write the type, so that's my manager, dot, get the instance, because this one is static, so we can get it without having direct reference to the my manager class, and then from this one I can get let's say the my value, which is a variable I created in the my manager class. So this is first part of the singletons, which is that we can access it everywhere. The second part is to make sure that only one instance of the singleton exists, and this is usually done in the awake method. That should be simple as that. On awake we are checking if the instance is now, if it is, then this is the instance, otherwise if there already is some instance, then we can just destroy this script. What you may also often see is using of the don't destroy on load function, we just make sure that when we load a new scene, this object doesn't get destroyed and is being transferred between scenes. Back in Unity, I have created two new objects, on one of them I put the my manager and on the second one I put the singleton test script, which is just debugging us the value that's in the my manager, which right now is 10, and in the console, yep, we can see that it is 10, and as we try increasing it, Yep, it's correctly updating in the console. So like this, from the singleton testing script, we can access the reference to the my manager without having a direct reference to it via a variable. Let's say that we have another manager that we want to make singleton. In this case, we would need to repeat bunch of the code that we have already written in the my manager, which could be really annoying. So instead, let's create new script, which will be the mono behavior generic singleton, from which other mono behavior classes will inherit if they need to be singletons as well. This will just make sure that we don't have to repeat the code over and over again. We have the mono behavior singleton class, which as you guessed it, will be a mono behavior, and because it is generic, let's just add the type T, meaning that this class can take in any type. If you are unsure about what are generics, feel free to check one of my tutorials. To make the singleton class a bit more type safe, let's also add that it is a mono behavior, where the T is a component. Now we can just take in all of the singleton code that we have in the my manager. So I will just copy it and paste it into the mono behavior singleton. Here not much is going to change. When we are storing a reference to the instance, the type should be the type that we define the class with. So that should be the type T. Then in the awake method, when we are setting the instance, we should not be setting it to the mono behavior singleton, but we should set it to this as T which is pretty much referring to the class that is inheriting from the singleton. And because other classes will be inheriting from this one, and here we are using the awake method, if the class that is inheriting from this one would use the awake as well, this class would just override it, which is not what we want. So let's make the awake protected and virtual. Again, if you are unsure what these keywords mean, check my tutorial about inheritance and polymorphism. And this is the whole class. So now let's jump to the my manager delete all of this code we have, and instead of inheriting from mono behavior, we'll inherit from mono behavior singleton, which we created now. We need to give it the generic type, so this is just the type of the class we want to make singleton, so my manager, just like so. And this is all of the code that we need to add into any class that should now be a singleton. As I was talking about the awake method, now as in the generic singleton, we have made it protected and virtual, in the my manager, we can use it as well. This time we should make it override, so we are overriding the base method. And if we write base awake, it's going to call whatever is in the base class. 
so just the logic for the singleton and then whatever we write after is going to run as well. But if you don't want, you don't have to use the awake at all. If you run the game again, I can again go to the console, I can see it's correctly displaying the value which you have in the my manager, I can increase it and everything works. So now we have achieved the same result just by writing much less code in the singleton where we just need to inherit it from the singleton and that's all. The singleton we created is the simplest one but there is one issue with it and that is that if we don't put the script on any object in the scene, so there is no instance of the singleton, it's obviously giving us error. As I said on the start, singleton is a class of which we have only one instance at all times. So let's fix that. The other way to create the singleton is not using the awake method at all and instead providing a getter for it. So we have the private static t which will just be holding the instance and then we have the public one which will be the getter. The way we are making the singleton right now is a bit more sophisticated because when you are trying to get it, you'll first check if there is some instance if this one is not equal to null, but if it is equal to null, then we'll just look through all of the objects in the scene, try to find the singleton there, and if the singleton doesn't exist even in the scene, then we will just instantiate new object with that script. This is the way that the getter should look. First we are checking if the instance is equal to now. If it is not, we will jump straight to the end, so just return the instance. But if it is equal to now, then we are trying to find the instance somewhere in the scene. So we are using the find object of type. If you find it, then again, we will just return the instance. But if we don't find it even in the scene, which means that we are here, then we can just instantiate new object, I'm giving it some name, and then to that object we'll add the component. And the component that we add, we cannot forget to save into the instance variable, so that then we can return it. So the code we have in the my manager is still the same, we just need to inherit from the mono behavior singleton, and in the singleton's tests it worked the same way. Just for testing, let's try to make the sound manager a singleton as well, so inherit from mono behavior singleton, of type sound manager and let's try to display the value in the singletons test as well. So I'm starting the game with none of the singletons in the scene, we have just the camera and the singleton test script and as we run the game you can see that it created those two objects, the auto generated my manager where we have the script and the sound manager where we have the script as well and it's correctly displaying all of the values so if I change the index, yep it's changing here as well and for the my manager it works the same way. So now you know how to make any script a singleton without repeating any code. And once you are done with the main generic singleton class, creating singletons out of other scripts really takes you just seconds. And that's all from me, if you are looking for some game developer friends or just seeking help, feel free to take a look at my discord server. If you want to support me financially, consider taking a look at my patreon. I hope that this video was useful, if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I will see you in next videos. Bye!